Hello there, my name's Ashley Shaw and it's, this is about the fifth attempt I've, met, I've had at making this vlog because of the content of what it's going to be about, um, which is about Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu denying that the Holocaust was Hitler's fault. So I'm going to read you, I'm going to start off, I'm going to try really hard this time, I'm going to read you exactly what Haaretz um, online newspaper in Israel has to say about it. During a conference, Netanyahu said, Hitler didn't want to exterminate the Jews at the time. He wanted to expel the Jews. And Hajj Amin al-Hussein, who is the, who was rather the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem, went to Hitler and said, if you expel them, they will come here to Palestine. And according to Netanyahu, Hitler then asked, what should I do with them? And the Mufti replied, burn them. Haaretz carry on, they, they continue. To put anyone on a par with Hitler as regards to the Holocaust is a form of Holocaust denial. It perverts the historical truth of the Holocaust and opens the door to all sorts of other lunatic and dangerous theories. It is something that no intelligent and awake person, sorry, and aware person should do, let alone the Prime Minister of Israel. Netanyahu's outburst on Tuesday night was a watershed much of the Western world has long considered him a little over the top, and now they have proof. He has lost whatever grip he may have had, and he's gone rogue. Benjamin Netanyahu is an existential danger to Israel. They also have gone to point out um, some actual history to back up the point. And they, they continue that Hajj Amin al-Hussein, the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem, met with Hitler only once on November 28th in 1941. By then, hundreds of thousands of Jews had already been shot to death in Western Soviet Union and the final solution was already an established fact of the Nazi bureaucracy. Let's just take that in for a minute, people, because Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister, has just exonerated Hitler for the murder of millions of innocent people and blamed it on the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem. Now, I, as I said, it's, it, this is about the fifth attempt. It's taken me to do this because I just keep losing the plot every time, every time I go to record because I cannot believe it. And what I don't believe more than anything is the fact that if this had been said by any other leader anywhere in the world, it would be that the mainstream media would be screaming about it. They would be baying for blood. The Israeli Prime Minister has said that Hitler didn't want to exterminate the Jews. He just took the blame off Hitler and put it onto a Palestinian Mufti. That is how much... The man hates Palestinians. That very thing there is what drives him with everything that he does. It's his inane hatred of the Palestinian people because he wants to make a greater Israel. He wants to go down in history. His hatred of Palestinians is so deep that he actually said Hitler was not responsible for the Holocaust. Now, how can... If you're a Jew, how can you, why are you not standing up and screaming at him? I have heard in my time some of the most vile things said from Holocaust deniers. But this by far, by far, is the most disturbing, disgusting, vile use of the death of millions of people for propaganda purposes that I have ever ever come across in my life that man should now be in prison for saying that his own country should have arrested him for that i'm i'm outraged i'm outraged for those poor souls who died how disrespectful can you be that's not somebody else that's the prime minister of israel using the holocaust for his propaganda purposes so much is his hatred of the palestinian people so don't be telling me that that man wants peace. He wants Palestine. 
He wants Palestine. And you know what? Another thing that I actually wanted to talk to you about today was the fact that, and this is kind of feeding into it, the fact that yet again yesterday, two Zionist Israelis were murdered by their own people. By their own people. Zionists are murdering Zionists. So much is their hate for Palestinians. A Jewish man with dark skin was walking along the road and a group of crazy, hyped-up settlers shouted terrorists and without a second's thought, the policeman turned around and shot him dead. Shot him dead without any proof. The next thing that happened was that they'd made a press release and in the press release, the instantly they said that um, a policeman, a Palestinian had been shot because a policeman was under threat of a knife. So they shot him. That was the very first thing they said. They lied instantly because there never was a Palestinian, uh, sorry, a policeman in danger. The, the Zionist that they shot, the Israeli that they shot, he was an innocent man with no knife, but they shot him on the word, just the word of settlers. Do you know, settlers have been the cause of the death of more other settlers with their crazed imagination and their hatred of anybody who's got a, a suspicion of anybody that's got a darker skin than them. People are being murdered because they are mistaken for Palestinians. Palestinians are being murdered for being suspected to have having a knife on them. When we know we've heard so many times that Israel are shooting their own people who haven't got knives and then claiming they have. Palestinians, you go onto my wall. Palestinians are having knives planted on their bodies. There are plenty of videos. And this is all fed by this man here. Benjamin Netanyahu, whose hatred of Palestinian people is feeding his own nation. He lies to them. He says Palestine doesn't exist. He tells them that. And then the next thing he's telling the world, it was a Palestinian mufti that did, that was the cause of the Holocaust. Please, people, we have to stand with the Palestinian people. If this doesn't make you see how crazy the whole situation is, this man is leading his people against them. The world's media hides his lunacy and backs it up. It's up to us to speak out for Palestine. So in the face of this madman and everybody that believes everything he says, it's up to us. If this doesn't show you, please, for the love of God, let this show you. And be a voice for Palestine because they need you. Palestine resists that. Palestine resists. Free Palestine.